Good evening. Welcome to Irish TV English News at 7. First, let's make a start with the headlines. Chief Minister in Bahrain inaugurates three-day-long 15th state-level Orange Festival at Indoor Stadium of Tamenglong headquarters. Bisnapur Police Commando rescued two laborers abducted by unknown armed persons on November 4th, December 4th. And suspected former cadre of KCP Lovell Group shot death near foothill of Jairauching. Chief Minister N. B. Ren has inaugurated the three-day-long 15th state-level Orange Festival at Indoor Stadium of Tamenglong headquarters today. Minister of Horticulture T. I. Shyam Kumar, MLA Samuel Jendai, MLA Awangbo Numai, and Chairman of Tamenglong ADC Namsin Ray Panmai were among those present at the inaugural event. Altogether, 168 stalls are being opened at the festival. Speaking on the occasion, Chief Minister N. B. Ren assured that steps will be taken up in consultation with the experts to enhance the production of orange. He also assured that the government will provide all possible assistance to orange growers and that a cold storage to make orange produce available throughout the year will also be set up. Chief Minister N. B. Ren further maintained that the new government has been translating the promises it met into action. He rebuked that some MLAs of the Hill districts are busy buying estates outside the state instead of working in the interest of the people. B. Ren maintained that the conduct of these MLAs are the reason behind Hindu development in the hills Minister of Horticulture T. I. Shyam Kumar wished that the festival fosters in peace and unity among the communities living in the state. He said there are proposals from outside companies for production of liquor from these special Tamenglong oranges. Minister Shyam Kumar added that there is no need to worry for marketing the oranges. Minister, Apamba, my Aningba, my wisdom, Hebadi, Prasagi, the Kangan to be the Matalina, Sindu, and Emerson, Miss Nadum, when Yam Sang Hyder, or Emerson, Mang Yaka, the Huena, Wamakata, Mangzebi, who can only say, Hyder Fasina, the Masagi, Santi, Amadi, Zadija, Kenabatam Daba, Amadi Kam Kenabatam Daba, Amis Sunni Nuning Bagi, Hena, Wakalu Purotuna, the Parliament Police Department, Pamia Matin, Pangasulai, this is Pangos of Pay, Hodari. Police have rescued the two laborers, both JCB drivers, for the road construction work from Dolai Thabi to Khoirog under Bisnapur Police Station, who were abducted by unknown individuals on December 4 today. A combined team of Bisnapur Commando and Bisnapur Police, led by Inspector B. Luntang Wi-Fi under the supervision of SP Bisnapur. Hobson Sapam conducted a cordon and search operation at S. Nabir, Bunglon, Loilam Kot, Dolang, and Khoirog area around 1.30 this afternoon. The duo identified as Gaidon Lung Gonmei, 27, son of Duan Lin Golmei of Oinam Long Village, and Emmanuel Topro, 45, son of Elista Topro of Pesam Kuti Village, Jakhan, currently residing at Awangkun, were safely rescued from an area between S. Nobin Village and Koirok Village. They have been handed over to their family through the I.O. of the case at Bisnapur Police Station. However, the armed miscreants who abducted the laborers fled the site upon seeing the team. Bisnapur police and Loktak police have registered a case in this regard and have launched investigation. 
A non miscreant shot death a suspected former cadre of KCP Lumfell Group around 6 30 this morning near the foothill of Chai Rao Ching of Thangmaiban, Yumnam Lekai. Today, the deceased cadre was identified as Sarai Sam Modu, 44, son of Sarai Sam Dinamani of Thangmaiban, Watham Lairag. He sustained seven bullet wounds. Sources said that he was shot during his routine morning walk. Sarai Sam Modu surrendered to a chief minister on June. June 2017 and since then he has been living at the designated camp of Bishnupur. Reportedly he returned home at Thangmaiban Watham Lairag a few days ago. The reason behind the killing is not known yet. A case has been registered by the police. On the other hand, UNLF has claimed responsibility for the killing of Sarai Sam Modu, 44 years, son of Sarai Sam Dinamani of Thangmaiban, Watham Lairag. Director of the Department of Publicity of UNLF, M. Sakhen, in a press release, informed that many cadres distanced themselves from the organization due to the rules and regulations which they find difficult to follow. UNLF do not give penalty to any of these retired cadres. However, UNLF has been giving punishment to those retired cadres who joins the enemy as well as to those who tries to defame the organization. So, I say Modhu tried to defame the organization after his retirement. He tried to persuade innocent people to take part in surrender drama in the name of the organization as well as threatened people. UNLF has repeatedly warned him to correct his mistakes. However, he continues continued his anti-revolutionary activities in the past few months. As a result, UNLF decided to award him befitting punishment. President of MMTA Bijoy Kakching Dabam lamented that agreement signed in between the government of Nagaland and government of Manipur on November 30 cannot be applicable. The agreement was signed regarding the arrest of trekkers of MMTA who went on trekking at Zuko Valley in connection with the Sangai festival. Out of three portions of the vast Zuko Valley, two portions belong to Manipur and one out of three belong to Nagaland. Abduction and assaulting of trekkers mostly happen when trekkers enter Nagaland site. Therefore, in an executive meeting of the MMTA held today, it has been decided that Zuko Valley Trekkers will start its expedition from the site of Manipur in future. Trekkers will not camp at Zuko Valley during Zuko Valley Trekking. MMTA has been organizing Zuko Valley Trekking since 1985. He said MMTA has been urging the time-to-time -time government to construct a route on Manipur site and also to set up a rest house. However, the demands have not been translated into action till date. He appealed to the government to construct a route on Manipur site as well as to set up a rest house before the commencement of the Sangai festival next year. MMTA does not encourage anybody to take political mileage regarding the unfortunate incident that will invite hatred in between the two states. He appealed to the people not to take political mileage. She problem was that one of the Nava under the Nakadori for two thousand nineteen. Sana in the Nanaba, the Jupu, the Mohudi, taking the Chilu, Amosu, yes, houses, and was happy. Masina, Amukana, for the Nava, 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 for the Banks of Thaubal River in different places of Thaubal Hauka Mamang Leikai in Wangkim constituency have kept in. Speaking to ISTV News, one local, Soibam Ibu Pishak, said that the bank subsided about 400 meters. He expressed apprehension that people of the area and other adjoining areas will face heavy flood situation in the rainy season if immediate action is not taken up. Hauka Mamang Amusung Hauka Kiam. Pabang kuno masih sing luar nak patrak tena lau sungu da asoba awa ben mayung nani aduna hujik sakah si na lengak na masih macam cina si jenji wakin nungju baja yau jengida sembi baji baja sembi apa ambak way amusung mai leba 
我这里说是那么些命，证明了大家现在会身边还不是会有关门。Former director of RIMS MLA Dr. N.G. Bijoy maintained that it is need of the art to upgrade Regional Institute of Medical Sciences to RIMS deemed university. He was addressing the gathering at the inaugural function of the 34th All Manipur Medical Conference Ama Mekon held at IMA Hall. Principal Secretary of Health Services Vumlun Mang Volnam, organizing chairman of Ama Mekon, Dr. Bhogen Akoizam, and professor of Genims, Dr. Ellen Doris, attended the inaugural function of the two day conference. Three eminent doctors were honored with simple gifts. Dr. Bijoy said, It is need of the hour to urge Center to upgrade RIMS into deemed university since it is an institute that has sufficient infrastructure. RIMS was once under NEC and DONA. However, it has been facing immense difficulties since it came under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. It is also necessary to pass an act in Parliament since RIMS does not have a separate budget. He appreciated the roles of doctors in the state. We are planning to have the institute strengthened. How? We do not have our own budget. Our budget is incorporated only in the Ministry of Health's budget. Therefore, there are difficulties. So, to avoid this, we need to have separate act of the parliament so that all the university, the university also it can be. We are proposing this and that is possible now because minimum three streams must be there. We have already medical, dental, nursing. So it is eligible now. So pressure is required. An awareness program on Loktak Livelihood Mission was held at Taubo Sorarel Community Hall, attended by members of many self-help groups. District Administration Bishnapur organized the event under the aegis of Investor Education and Protection Fund Authority. Chairperson of Child Welfare Committee, Bishnapur, P. Premchan, Pradhan of Taubul Gram Panchayat, T. H. Nanaubi, and District Manager of DEGS, Bishnapur, Prasanta Oinam, were among those present at the event. Speaking on the Occasion, Prasanta Oinam appealed to the people to join hands to make the initiative of the Chief Minister to enhance fish production successful. Now it's time for a small break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. I am the starter. We work it together. The adventure. When we chase it together. After party, when we rock it together. It's stylish, but it's stylish only when we live it together. The next gen Maruti Suzuki Ertika move together in style. Welcome back. Now moving on. Kakching District Police Commando nabbed three persons carrying heroin number four in Palel area today. The persons were identified as Nene Kim Haukip and M. Jingne Hing Haukip of Mori Ward No. 9 and Muhammad Nazirni of Sora Karachi Lakai. They have been handed over to Kakching Police for further investigation. District Health Society Chandel under the aegis of UNICEL organized a one-day sensitization come awareness on health and nutrition service at Community Health Center Chakpi Karong today. Village chiefs, representatives of NGOs, youth leaders attended the event. The similar event was also held at Sajiktam Park on 6th December. A two-day national seminar on systematizing library system to inspire readership community kicked off at the auditorium of State Central Library, Impal today. The seminar is being organized by Library Foundation, Kolkata, Department of Art and Culture and Manipur Library Association. MLA of Nauria Pakanglakwa Constituency, S. Subhasandra, President of Manipur Library Association, Kangjam Chawa Singh, an Associate Professor of Department of Library Information and Science, Shillong P. Hansing were the main guests of the event. Speaking on the occasion, MLA Subhas Chandra emphasized the role of library in bringing quality education and stated that the habit of reading books needs to be encouraged. <laughs> Nai, wajib juga, madu, nainan, nainan apa, madu, jangan kagok itu na, 
kun na magsi masakit di ano rin na pwede kita nagkaroon ng di kun bang pwede ba manugi building kasi pwede na kung ano magsi nagkaroon A two-day national seminar on Sanamahi Lining Ethics and Dress Code kicked off today at Manipur State Archives, Kaisampad. Vice Chairman of Planning Board, MLA S. Brojen, President of Manipur Saita Parishad, Professor Kangjam Ibohal, former Vice Chairman of Sanamahi Temple Board, Nepram Bihari, and many others attended the inaugural event. The seminar was organized by Sapam Rajamni Institute of Manipur Studies, Tera Kaitel. Speaking at the seminar, Director of the Institute, Sapam Bhaigya said, in order to protect and preserve the original aspect of culture and tradition, one must know its original values. MLA S. Brojan aided that, for preserving the traditional and cultural values of Manipur, discussions including seminars and conferences are needed. <laughs> A national lok adalat was held today at the complex of Lumfell Court under the initiative of Manipur State Legal Services Authority. Altogether, 2,083 different cases of Imphal West and Imphal East have been settled. Member Secretary of Legal Services Authority R.K. Memcha said several pending cases are redischarged with the help of Lok Adalat and she urged the public to take better opportunity of it. DM College of Commerce Alumni Association in collaboration with Environment and Rural Development Society Kamjong organized a mega health camp come distribution of free medicines and clothes at Kamjong today. At least 344 persons were provided free medical checkup. Directorate of Health Services, Manipur AIDS Control Society, CMO Kamjong and 31 Assam Rifles extended assistance at the mega health camp. Village chief along with the people expressed their desire to organize such camp in a backward village such as Kamjong. They also drew attention of the government to take up developmental works in the village. Seats were distributed to 40 farmers of Kumbi Assembly constituency for the upcoming Rabi season. Agriculture Department under the initiative of MLA of Kumbi constituency, Sanasam Bira, organized a program at Saiton Salan Konjil today, yesterday. SDO of Bishnupur, Somendro, said that farmers should take experts' opinion for better production of crops. Subdivision Officer of Bishnupur, Somendro, said farmers should consult experts to increase agricultural producers. Now, before we close the headlines once again, Chief and Minister N. Biren inaugurates three day long 15th state level Orange Festival at Indo Stadium of Tamenglong headquarters. Bishnupur Police Commander rescued two laborers abducted by unknown armed persons on December 4th. And Suspected former cadre of KCP Lumfell Group shot death near foothill of Chirauching. That's all we have in this edition of news. Thank you for watching and have a good night.